Hi everyone, my name is Abdullah Diallo and I go by the creator name King Ole. I'm making this uh, uh, video for a final project for my uh, history of motion picture class. I will be talking about the evolution of documentary filmmaking throughout the 20th century to the 21st century. One of the first uh, true documentary films is considered to be Nanook of the North by Ro Robert Flaherty, a great expedition to the north of America and Canada in 1913. Um, one other director uh, was on the other opposite side of Robert Flaherty, which is uh, Ditska Vertov, a Soviet director who was well known for his uh, uh, Kino Pravda. Uh, how you say it again, Kino Pravda. <laughs> By the 1930s, the use of filmmaking for the intention of propaganda was well known. Uh, the example was uh, Sergei Einstein, a filmmaker in the Battleship of Pumpkin, a well popular German uh, propaganda uh, movie maker. The star of the German industry at the time was uh, Leni Riefenstahl. She started as an actress and then uh, later on uh, went on as a director in the documentary filmmaking and became uh, Hitler's favorite director, uh, a, even directing movies where Hitler was in. By the 1950s, there were multiple movements and film uh, documentary making. Um, and technology was changing, allowing uh, multiple people to do uh, documentary films uh, because the equipment was available and the technology was there. One movement close, uh, close to Vertov was Cinema Verity. Uh, simply put a camera in a room and watch life take place. Uh, but uh, the editing was, uh, it was requiring like excessive uh, editing uh, on a ratio of uh, a one to hundred, as he says. And we have the emergence of the blockbuster movies where we have directors like uh, Hitchcock who produce his greatest work uh, during uh, the period, much of it in the Vista Vision. And uh, that concludes uh, our uh, final presentation and thank you for watching.